A warm welcome to Rosanna and Ross Terry. They brought the amazing and delicious smells of Peru. And for us today, if you guys missed our last half hour, we spoke about lomo saltado and ceviche, which are very common staples of Peru. And today in this hit, we're going to be talking about the... The alfajores right here, and this is a popular dessert of Peru. What are alfajores and what do they include right here? Well, this is classic cookies from Peru. We make it uh, uh, for dessert every, every day too. And even in the restaurant, we make it ice cream and the cookies right there inside the ice cream, a homemade ice cream. But this is a classic inside is a caramel. We caramel. make a homemade caramel and the top powdered sugar, and it's like a or, shortbread type shortbread. of cookie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, very delicious, I've had these, these are actually very good. And then over here we have a common staples of Peru is potatoes. This is a causa right here, our viewers can see it. And um, tell us what a little bit of what this is made out of. It's a petite, a classic petite from Peru. In Peru we have 4,000 varieties of causa, even more. And potatoes, so, yeah. Yeah, so we make it a lot of dishes from Peru. We uh, layer or stuff it with different way. The class is with chicken, or this time I make it with a shrimp, masago, crab meat, avocado, and a kind of smoky dressing on the top with togarachi because we have a lot of influence from China and Japan. Very interesting. So, you know, we see potatoes in different cultures, even here in American foods, but it's interesting to see how other cultures kind of, you know, manipulate it and make it into something different, even though, you know, it's the same food. At the end of the day, I always say we kind of eat the same things, just in a different, cooked in a different way. And today we also have, what is this dish over here called? Oh, that's um, aireguina. That's a slow cooked chicken dish. Uh, and it's, it's slow cooked with Aji amarillo, which is a type of pepper that only grows in Peru. And it it's the base of all the Peruvian cuisine. It's kind of cheddar chicken, creamy, spicy as inside. Mm -hmm. And it's called, always with the side of a little rice. In Peru, we eat a lot of rice. A lot of rice. It's very common in a lot of Hispanic cultures. I definitely eat a lot of rice, too. And to end off our, our hit today, we want to thank Ross and Rosanna with a little cheers. This is the chicha morada from, that we showed last time. This is the purple corn. And we're going to try this. Cheers, guys. Thank you cheers. for making it all the way out here. And let's see. Mm, very good. It's better than I thought. You guys have to. Up. Yes, most definitely. We want to thank a warm welcome to Ross and Rosanna for coming here and showing us the taste and culture of Peru. If you guys want to know more about their culture and where to find their restaurant, you can head over right now to our website at WREX.com.